Detroit River, April 16th. I got none other than the Jonesy heading down the dock to jump in the boat with me to do a little walleye fishing today. We're gonna show you how to vertically jig a hair jig. We're gonna do a little bit with Garmin's live scope and down, show you how to use that and hopefully put a limit of walleye in the boat. It's gonna be a busy river this morning. What do you think, Jonesy? Can you get in the boat, man? I'm gonna film this. You gonna film me getting in the boat? Yes. I appreciate that. Yep. I thought that was pretty graceful. I'll tell you, like a ballerina, I just don't wanna break your graphs. But that was pretty graceful. I would give you a 6.5 on that one. I'm surprised they're not voting in the comments. Drop a few comments on Jonesy's entrance to the boat. We'd like to see him. Maybe give me a little laugh. Anyway, Detroit River, April the 16th. Why are we here? Because of when hard out of the west today. The plan was to go to Erie. The plans got changed with the hard west wind, so we're on the Detroit River. Let's see how it goes. Fish number one. 10 o'clock already. Nice little solid walleye. Caught him on the tactical fishing gear. Drop shot ride. Fish number two. Feels like a little better fish. I think I'm going to use a 3-8 pound for fishing 36 feet of water. Hit it pretty hard. I guess he's not a better one. But is he a keeper? Find out. Yeah, I got everything. I caught a net, everything but a fish. 15 and a half incher. Nice eater. Not bad for two. They went over a boulder and there was like walleyes all around him. Looks there's, like we're coming there's over There's some, some right fish. there. You see, the main thing is you let the line out until you contact bottom and there's going to be just a little bag in it down low. There it is right there. Just contact the bottom. 35. I'll say one thing, there's a few of them down there. Yeah, there's two down there. They hang so tight to the bottom. You have to feel the, the jig head smack the bottom, just like that. And when you drop it, I watch the line. So right when it slacks up, it takes a minute to get used to. And I'm constantly opening my bail to adjust. Oh, I can too. It doesn't help with all the boat traffic because it makes your boat go off, off course a little bit. Plus, I don't have the speed of the trolling motor down pat yet. Every day is different world-renowned fishery, man. Jonesy hooked up with his first fish. Hey, Jonesy, I hear you're pretty good with a Ned. Yeah, you know, you start learning this stuff. But that doesn't look like a Ned. That is not a Ned. What the heck kind of deal is that, Jonesy? Not sure then. He must be pretty good with a fluke. That's fish number three. We've been here about 20 minutes of actual fishing time. Jonesy hooked him a walleye. Figured out how to do it. Uh oh, he figured out how to do it, folks. And when he figures out how to do it, he gets deadly. Is that true, Jonesy? Oh, that's a 16 inch fish. Nice one, Jonesy. Half ounce head, Z-Man, streaks on there. Tipping it with a minnow. We'll show you how we're doing it here in just a minute. Another one hooked up. Get him in the boat here. I got Jonesy. I got a walleye. Yeah. Not a real big one, Hope. Maybe because you catch so many fish, it's worn out. It could be. I'll show you a setup real quick. We're up here, Upper Detroit River. We're drifting between basically the Ambassador Bridge and Fighting Island. I am using a Tactical Gear Caliber Worm and Green Pumpkin got a little bit of chartreuse on the tail. I've only got a 3 8 ounce head out now. Probably a little light, probably should be on a half ounce, but obviously it's very effective. We've been here about 30 minutes, got four in the boat already. And then I am just putting the minnow right through the head. And then I like to take the stinger hook, poke it right through his tail. Four fish, been here about 30 minutes or so. Easily 500 boats on this river right now anyway. The first ramp we went to was full. Vertical jigging, keeping the line straight. Fish on! It's just that easy. Jigging, Detroit River walleye. That one might not even make the grade. He's a line burner, but we're not going to mess with any line burners. A little bumpy out here with all the boat traffic. I don't know what's going on with Jonesy back there, but... How's your seat? Is your seat comfortable back there right now, Jones? I mean, he's just, he's chillaxing. That's what he does. Fish on! Wow! It's terrible. Fishing, fishing's terrible. Thanks for netting my fish, Jones. Actually got a little bit better quality than the last couple fish. Jones is pretty comfortable back there in the back. Jones, I don't want you to, I don't want you to get out of your seat for these, you know, 17, 18 inch fish. You just stay back there. Stay calm. Five in a box. 10.22, five in a box. We started fishing at like 9.52. So far, it's not going too bad. A little bit of chaos ensuing every once in a while. Pretty good down here. <laughs> A little bit shallower water, we're in 31 feet right now. You ever done it with down? Down's awesome. Sometimes when you're in the back and you're not running a trolling motor, you gotta get like a really heavy jig head on. Helps you stay vertical more. Fish, oh! Yep, I got cleaned. He was like, dude, you see that caliber worm go by? Jonesy's back there watching them on 2D. I'm watching them on down, down view on live scope. 
Hey, Joan, if he's a keeper. I think I got you again. Yep, Jonesy. That. That's my fish. Jonesy, he, he's not staying vertical. That is fish number six. Solid fish, probably. Let's measure him. He's close to 17 inches. Another caliber worm fish. Halfway there, we're at about the 40 minute mark. Six fish into a 12 fish limit. We could put your seat up front here, because man, I don't want you to have to stand up. He had a late night last night. He said he stayed up a little late. He was whining this morning when I texted him. I said, you want to go fishing? And I'm pretty tired. I'm going to tell you what Cynthia said. What did Cynthia say? She said, who is texting you at 5 o'clock in the morning? Tell Cynthia. Well, he's Wagner just texted me at 5 o'clock in the morning. Honey. I said, oh, it's Heath. And she said, oh, I guess you're going fishing. Uh-oh, fish on. See, you talk about it, talking with Jonesy about waking him up, and then walleyes are like, they are liking the caliber worm. They are liking the caliber worm. Where'd you get that one? I got that from tactical fishing gear. Not a real big fish. He's definitely spawning. He's happy. What do you think? He's 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. We'll drop him in a box with a tag on him real quick. Delicious. This one decided to destroy the caliber worm. Caught that 15 and a quarter. Dropped down. Raised it up one time and it went kathud. Jonesy, what's going on back there? Almost a 16 inch fish. You know, Jonesy's really good with goofy colored baits anyways. I should give him something a little exotic. Jonesy's always like, yeah, I'll use the pink and purple. Purple Descent. It's on sale. And Chartreuse one that was on sale in the bargain bin for a quarter for a hundred pack. Pretty typical supply of bait for Jonesy. Ever since the electric green incident, I believe. Yeah, there was. There was a yeah, there was an incident. The electric green incident. Jonesy once had a pack of, what was it, a sample pack? I had one. And he had one of them. And it was this little lake in northern Indiana. Maybe that might have been the last time. I think Jonesy ruined the lakes because they haven't seen electric green yet. Now as we can catch his little ones on that lake. And Jonesy took the electric green power hula grub or something and just put a beating on it. It was terrible. I was like, you got any more of those, Jonesy? He brings out the sleeve of baits that were samples in the sample pack. I got my thigh weight one. He had a methylate. I don't know what other colors he had, but he didn't have electric green. Since that day, we have never seen an electric green power bait hula grub set. Hey, John. I guess he's a keeper. He high sticking something? He's got a fish on. He looks like he might be a little bit on the short end. But maybe, maybe not. Got a couple of these. Oh, he's a keeper. Heck, he's bigger than some of them in there. 15 and a half. Number eight. Oh, he ate it. Oh, he didn't just eat it. Oh. Oh, he said, I had a girlfriend down there and you ruined it. That guy really liked the caliber worm. Nice solid fish, probably almost an 18 incher. That's fish number nine. Jonesy may be pretty good with a Ned. Ready to go Ned fishing. I'm not real sure if he's very good vertically fishing on the Detroit River. We'll give him some time. He looks comfy. Doesn't he look comfy, folks? Nice. We got a few minnows this morning. <laughs> that was three dozen. <laughs> That's what happens when you're walleye fishing on the Detroit River. Yo, fish on, fish on, Jonesy. Fish number 10, probably 17 and a half, 18 inch fish. No, I'll try your exact rig, see if it can be done from the back of the boat. It's definitely specialized. <laughs> It's best for me to get the boat under control before I drop it. We're at 10 fish, caught about, I don't know what, three or four shorts. If that thing goes thud, pick it up. I hope there was one. That one might have brushed down the side of one. Uh oh, Jonesy's hooked up. Jonesy's hooked up. Uh oh, uh oh. There's fish. Jonesy's using the tactical worm. I got him a, I don't know, Jonesy. I don't know about that one, Jonesy, but geez, Jonesy hooked up. Nice job, Jonesy. I knew he could do it. Jonesy's got another one on. He has got it figured out. It only took him two hours, but he's got it figured out. Jonesy, oh, it's a nicer fish. Jonesy, oh, look at that fish. He said, hmm, caliber worms. Those technical gear caliber worms. As you can see, we're using a three quarter ounce football head. I got a good feeling it doesn't matter if he's bleeding or not because there's a pretty good chance he's gonna end up on the grill. Nice fish, Jonesy. Jonesy's the man. Caliber worm's hot. Derek, he can be on camera on the phone. Oh, and I lost him. The tactical uh, gear guy is on the phone now. There he goes. See, I knew Derek would be good for one. Anytime Derek's on the phone, there's always a fish caught. Yeah, that's even a keeper. <laughs> there he is. Oh my gosh, I'm using that. Whatever that blue colored one. I, I'm surprised at how many fish have like choked it. You know what I mean? Jones, he's not messing around on fire since we restarted the drift. His claim is he's got it figured out now. He's got the handle on it. He keeps talking about how good he is with the Ned. So now he's blaming me. Come up in a little shallower water. We'll see if we got a little bit better grade of fish. We're in 22 feet. 
Yeah, that's a little bit better. Quality 17 and a half inch fish, maybe. He said kaboom! He said, mm, that's good! The middle. It is just jam-packed full of them. Jonesy claiming giant. Nice job, Jonesy. Thank you. He'll do anything to catch a fish. Man, there were so many there. Got a little down imaging fish. About 10 of them down there on the bottom. We're fishing a little shallower water now. Best one of the day. Definitely the best one of the day. He was enjoying the caliber worm. Solid walleye. Very happy walleye. That was fun. Smashed. One of the places you see it on live scope and you're like, there ain't no way I'm not gonna catch one of them. The nice thing about forward is you can still see under the boat. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. That's 17 inch fish like this. There's rock right there, way out there. There's a walleye right there. Filming off the screen. There's one right there. What you got going on there, Jonesy? That's not a bad fish. Swings him in the boat. <laughs> I'm pretty good with whatever this ring is. <laughs> that one, Jonesy. Oh, that's almost an 18 incher. <laughs> yeah. A lot of shallow water. Uh oh. Jonesy's hooked up. But oh, Jonesy's hooked up. Nice job, Jonesy. Nothing to this. That boy's got gate. I'm his gopher now. Fishing in here. Really bad, really bad, really bad, and all of a sudden it's like they all moved in here all at once. Jonesy's hooked up. What are you good at? The Ned Rig. I heard he's pretty good with the Ned. And he's got a smallmouth bass because we came out here, we vertical jigged some walleye in the river, and we was like, man, we gotta come out on the big lake and see if we can catch one of those beautiful, beautiful beasts. Oh, he, uh oh, now he's catching my rods. Come on, Jones. Look at that big beauty. What a kind of head do you have in that Ned Rig, Jones? Walleye fishing slash Ned Rig fishing. It's a pretty good one. It's pretty close to four pounds. We got three on the scales. We've been out here about 15 minutes. I think they're here. I catch them all out too. Not the only one. I've actually caught most of them, but this is a little better one. I probably shouldn't boat flip him. Last time you boat flipped, he um, put a hook in his nose. Yeah, I did. I put a hook in my nose. Check him out. Isn't he beautiful with that big old silver buddy in his mouth? This one might beat yours, Jonesy. I'm sure. One Jonesy just caught with 385. There we got him in the boat. Check that out. He's a little tank. A little tanker tanker. First five on the scales. We've caught five, but we haven't weighed them all. Oh yeah, that's a four. Waves make it hard to weigh a fish sometimes. He's a 430 something, but we're gonna call him at 407, but the scales were saying 436. I just couldn't get him to sit still. So our first five immediately go 1576. Not bad, huh, Jonesy? I spice something brown. I spice something brown. Oh. Barely hooked. Are we gonna get him in? Check him out. Check his big, beautiful brown butt out. The big one. That, my friends is a big old smallmouth bass. Not a bad way to end the day after whacking about 30 smallmouths up in the river out here on Lake Erie right now, and it is rough. Not quite a five, 482. Pretty nice, 482. Best smallmouth of the year so far. That gives us 1851, not bad. Well, boys, that's a wrap, hey Jonesy? too bad. We went out there and beat on the walleye today. And then we finished up by beating on a few smallmouth. The problem was it was so windy we really couldn't film. We got a few of them on video. I think we ended up catching 30, 35 walleye and 20 bass, 25 bass. Yeah, pretty good day. Did all the damage on the walleye with the tactical fishing gear. Caliber worm. There she is. Didn't seem to matter what color. We just was rigging it with a stinger as you can see. Had a football head because most guys use round ball heads, but I had those available in the boat. Caught most of the fish on the tactical gear drop shot rod and the tube special. Check these guys out, tactical fishing. Orderbaits.com. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe key. We'll get out here and catch a lot more fish again and show you some fun stuff. What are you doing there, Jonesy? That, that's that bait. That caliber worm? It does that? Ooh. I hear any bait that's stretchy and floats on Lake Erie catches fish. Check out that tactical fishing stuff. God bless everyone.